In this video, we will be talking about uh, S4 HANA uh, SAP Activate, the what are the phases. So if you remember in video number 33, we talk about introduction to SAP Activate. Uh, but this video will be focused on phases of SAP Activate. Uh, there are several phases and we will describe what each phase means. So as I discussed in video number 33, the phases of SAP Activate are discover, prepare, explore, realize, deploy and run. So SAP Activate is a methodology and it has a sequence of uh, phases which go in line one after the other. So if you remember in SAP there were five phases, so it's now superseding and now it's a new methodology is SAP Activate. So let's discuss one by one. Let's start with discover. Uh, so discover in discover phase what we do is uh, we do the strategic planning of our program of a project uh, we do discovery assessment to ensure what are we trying to achieve what is the end objective it is a finance transformation it's an IT transformation or is it a business transformation and we also work on solution capabilities for example we explore uh, is it uh, SAP or is it any non SAP or is it uh, within SAP what are the areas we need to explore and then we also arrange for the trial system access with our we choose SI and we do trial system access to see uh, you know the prototype uh, or the POC to see how things will look like and how things may change. So that's a discover phase it's mostly about you know discovering uh, ourselves, our program and that what will be the next step. Then the next step we come prepare. So here once we are done with the discovery and then we do the prepare. So in prepare we do we write a project charter, uh, we do decide on governance, we decide on budget, we decide on project structure, project organization and then we do project preparation and of course at the same time we do the kickoff with the relevant stakeholders and then we also start with the infrastructure planning about the landscape, about uh, hosting, cloud, on-premise, uh, who is the hosting partner, all those discussions kicks off and then we also look for the organizational impact that who will be the end user, how the learning journey will come, how the change management will be driven and then we after doing all these activities we come toward the phase closure and sign off. So basically here your project is approved, budget is approved, governance is set, how the decisions will be taken in the program, who will be approving what, how the structure looks like, how many directors, how many, uh, what is the team size, what are the areas, how do we divide, so all those activities happen here. So this is more of a planning exercise, but at the same time we also do the kickoff here. In explore phase we do, uh, you know, the team is onboarded, we start execution of the program and we start monitoring. We do the uh, solution definition, we define the solution, we do the uh, we also work on the test planning that for this solution what will be the user uh, you know how many test phases the companies uh, the our business who will be involved do we have a shared service uh, do we have a, any back office operations and how the who will be testing what how data loads will happen how solution planning and design will work through so all those the next step planning will happen here we onboard more resources to see how things will more move ahead and then uh, you know here phase closure and sign off ha also happen for each phase uh, but at the same time here we do the sprint planning we assign resources and the solution de design documents start getting created here in then in realize phase uh, we of course as i said solution design document starts in the in the previous phase in this phase we do actual configuration actual test and of course uh, actual test planning is executed and test planning keeps on iterations if any changes needed we do integration setup for example sap we need po del what 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 solution how interfaces will look like and we do end user uh, walk end user we prepare uh, and execute uat in this phase when i say uat it means all test phases are executed here where uh, you know we do uh, multiple test phase execution so realize phase is pretty long uh, we do most of the activities in realize phase and we also do the solution walkthrough to our business, to our finance stakeholders, to our business stakeholders that this is how the solution looks like. And based on the learnings from test phase, we also start uh, preparing for the final cutover. So this is the longest phase 
which takes more time more iteration because the whole test uh, planning to execution happens here changes in planning happens here any iterations flex uh, changes to budget happens here so this is a more complex phase of the whole uh, you know methodology then we go to deploy phase uh, in deploy phase just a second so in deploy phase we do uh, dress rehearsal hypercare support and we look for the stabilization of uh, of the solution uh, where you know we do final cutover plan the dress rehearsal happens we do look forward the production cutover stabilize the solution and then we look for the hypercare support or post co life support which is like 6 weeks 10 weeks 8 weeks depending on how the system integration uh, integrator is uh, working contracted with so this is basically we finally deploy the solution we hand it over we convert it into bau but at the same time it it is in still in hypercare phase and in ninth in the last part in run phase we do the manage the ongoing operations of course now the system is in bau landscape uh, bau phase we do ensure that you know the operations are running fine but at the same time we also take uh, continuous process improvement is very important because here we keep on improving our processes we keep on getting learning of course we do learn or we may have a rollouts coming in so we embed the learning in the process and in business process as well as the project processes and we keep on it is you know the cycle which keeps on going and coming but at the same time we also do the new scope activation so once we go live now we say okay we want to add the scope business is happy they are looking for more fruits so we add scope and then once the scope is added it goes through the whole cycle again where uh, you know if it is a small change we can take and take it like this but if it is a big another major project uh, needs to be started then of course you know it goes through the again the whole process so in summary i will just uh, recap uh, the it involves discovery where we do discover we do project planning preparation explore the solution realize is a longer phase where we do the cutter where we do the configuration testing and then of course at the end we deploy it to production we do start the hyper care and then of course we at the end we run the solution do continuous improvement so that's a uh, phases of sap activate methodology uh, so in previous video we talk about uh, introduction to sap activate this video is focused on phases of sap activate and in next videos i will talk more about sap activate and also link it how sap activate will work with uh, sap central finance so if you are interested more about sap central finance ensure that you follow the previous videos of what central finance is as well as these two videos upon sap activate what activate is then only it will be easy for you to link up uh, you know how uh, sap activate and central finance can work together so keep uh, do share the videos with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like and subscribe the channel uh, thank you so much for today and i will be in come back with more videos soon